Good evening. Willie Rioli has broken his silence over his shock suspension in a statement to family and friends that was quickly leaked. The West Coast Eagle is accused of tampering with a drug test last month. Paddy Sweeney is at the MCG. Paddy, Rioli's teammates have rallied around him. Well, Michael Rioli's message couldn't have surfaced at a worse time just on the eve of this clash against uh, Geelong tonight. Now, it really has only added fire to or fuel to the fire just as the Eagles were trying to remain 100% focused on tonight's final. If Willie Rioli was feeling sad when he posted this, he probably isn't feeling any better now. It's gone public. Signing off a brief apology and thank you to family and friends with... Hopefully, this little mistake is a lesson to be learnt. This definitely doesn't define me as a person. The embattled Eagle star's statement further fuelling the doping scandal that's seen him banned from footy. Shannon Hearn leads out the West Coast Eagles onto the ground. The message emerging just hours before his teammates run out onto the MCG. Another distraction on top of the bombshell they've been trying to ignore to focus on their fight for survival clash with the Cats. It devastated, aren't we? We had no idea what was going on and it's, um, yeah trying to not think about it too much. We've got a big game tonight. So. But try as they might, Willie Rioli was still very much in their thoughts today. Absolutely feel for him. He's got a um, young family and um, he's a great character, a great bloke, great friend of mine, great friend of a lot of, a lot of the boys. So it came as a shock. And... Do you feel for Willie Rioli and the position he's in? Uh, yeah, mate, but um, yeah, just looking after his health, um, away from the group and uh, yeah. It's about all I have to say, mate. The 24-year-old was snapped flying into Darwin late last night on his way home to the Tiwi Islands, where he's a premiership hero. Bringing the cup there for the very first time, it's never been like it's been everywhere else in the Territory. You know, all of the people on the Tiwi Islands are, you know, are definitely right behind him. Um, they loved him unconditionally before he got drafted and they'll love him unconditionally, you know, if he ever, you know, comes back. Yeah. And back to his famous football family just days ago, supporting him as he rode into the finals on a professional high. Everybody's you know, quite proud of where, you know, where he's at. Now rallying around him during his lowest moment. He'd be shattered like footy's his life and his world and, and everything he does is, you know, for his family and his, and his young boy and I think that'll be, you know, at the front of his mind at the moment. Um, probably not so much the impact on his career but the impact on his family. Also today, more details emerging about what landed Rioli in trouble. It's believed last month he was caught trying to pour a liquid, possibly an energy drink, into a test speaker in place of a urine sample. Allegations AFL boss Gillan McLaughlin confirmed are unlikely to be cleared up before the end of the football season. These things take some time and this is clearly something, a case that's, that's different from the standard, the standard one, so I'm sure it'll, it'll, it will take some time. So no matter what the outcome of the match being played here at the MCG tonight, Willie Rioli's season is almost certainly over. And if he is found guilty of tampering with that sample, he faces a four-year ban. Michael? It's a bleak prospect. Paddy, thank you. Willie Rioli's doping scandal has raised questions about ASADA's strict testing protocols. It's been revealed drug testing officials aren't required to stop an athlete tampering with a sample. They're the two questions baffling the AFL world. Why, and indeed how, Willie Rioli allegedly tampered with a urine test. It seems like he's tipped something into his sample, which um, never goes down well, and you rarely get away with it. So rare, out of the 64 athletes currently suspended by the Australian Sports Anti-Doping Agency, none banned for supplying an illegal sample. The drug testing process, rigorous. So I don't want to be too graphic, but your pants are down around your ankles, and he is looking at you put the sample into the cup. Once a sample is provided, the athlete is asked to divide it into beakers labelled A and B and seal them. The athlete is the only person to handle the beakers during the process. In Rioli's case, the staff forward also provided a urine sample shortly after allegedly tampering with the initial test. After the samples are sealed, they can only be opened at Asada's Canberra Laboratory. It's unavoidable to see exactly what happens, um, whether that's in the process of passing the urine or anything that's doing with putting the samples in, in the containers that are then shipped away to Asada. If an Asada official sees an athlete tampering with the testing process, it's their job to report it, not stop it. 6PR Mornings host Gareth Parker worked for Asada for more than a year. He says it's the tester's responsibility to stay with the athlete. There is no way that a tester could miss something like that happening if they're following the appropriate protocols.
The results of the second test may take months. Rioli's return to football could be years. Michael Stamp, Nine News.